All right, family, it's your brother Asad. And I'm Adrian. And we are back again with another quick video. <laughs> but make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the notifications bell so that you'll be notified when we drop new videos. Secondly, in terms of housekeeping, we got to make sure we thank our South African family for all the love you guys have shown us. It is just really amazing. And not just cyberspace love, but that 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 what they what the philosophical musician Mary J. Blige called real love. Real love. I'm searching. <laughs> For a real love. And I found it. I found it right here in South Africa. I want to tell you a story about it. Just today we were eating at Tasha's in Rosebank. Mm -hmm. And while we were sitting there, out of the blue, a lady walked up to us, Valeria. Yes. Valeria. And Valeria said, I watch you guys on YouTube. Right, I see you. And she was like, and she went on to tell us about what we posted today and what we had posted the other day and stuff I said and, and complimenting Adrian. I was just, I hope she doesn't think that I was standoffish mm -hmm. because I was really like taken aback by the fact that someone in a city of 10 million people yeah, recognized little old me from doing some old silly stuff <laughs> on, <laughs> on the on, on the internet I'm running right my mouth. just running my mouth this is this is what I would do if you came to my house and sat down and talk I, I'd talk your head right. off <laughs> <laughs> But this is that I'm just humbled by yeah. the love that you guys have shown. I mean, I don't know what to say. Um, so thank you guys. Thank you. We definitely appreciate it. Mm -hmm. So what um, also, if you're watching this, when you watch this, it will actually be tomorrow. But today is Adrian's birthday. It's my birthday. She's 21. Yeah. Times two. <laughs> 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 I've done that twice. <laughs> Not quite twice. <laughs> Give me a <three> back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my baby's birthday. And we're going out and celebrate. I'm getting up there. We're going out and celebrate well. tonight. So yeah. yeah. And um if y'all hear noise and stuff, that's the cleanup lady. Uh, at the Airbnb, they actually have a, a cleanup lady who comes in at this Airbnb. That's cool. Thank you. Um, so, what, ha what what have we been up to? What have we been doing? Uh, highlight for me was the game drive. That game was, drive. I really love that. Mm. It was picked up by a man who lives in Pretoria named Quartus. Mm. Quartus took us on a game drive to what is it? Pilanesburg. Pilanesburg. I want to talk about Portus. And his Daisy Dukes. <laughs> I don't I don't know if y'all know what Daisy Dukes are, but look them up. Daisy Dukes. Daisy Dukes come from a TV show, Dukes of Hazard. And there was two brothers and the sister's name was Daisy. And she used to wear these cut off shorts. And um, then, like, they had a song. Look at them girl with them Daisy Dukes on. I, I want you to look at them girl with the Daisy Dukes on. <laughs> well, what was his name? Porters? Quartus. Quartus. Quarter, but with the U.S. Quartus had on some Daisy Dukes. <laughs> Men like white men did like to do outdoorsy stuff. Where? Because you remember the man that got stung by the stingray that died, the Australian guy. That's exactly what he had on. He had that on. He like had that same fit on. Super with Daisy. Uh, what was his hand. name? The I crocodile hunter. Yes. I think, I think it was think. a crocodile hunter. Same fit though. Yeah, but quarters pants with short shorts with just a, <laughs> a little yeah, a little tighter and a little shorter. <laughs> I don't know if he was if he stripped in the evening. <laughs> <laughs> If he's an exotic dancer on the weekend, <laughs> but his pants. <laughs> Leg <laughs> And he, you remember he made the joke, he was like, what keeps me up is nicotine, caffeine, and heroin. I said, I 
I said, whoa. <laughs> yeah. I said, can he, we? He, he like the people in, the, <laughs> in Philly just slump up. <laughs> oh, no, like quarters, man. You something else, my brother. But let me tell you the truth, though. Phenomenal game drive. He was a phenomenal tour guide. He he had a great eye because he was. We were, I wasn't paying attention, and he'd stop and he'd be like, "Right there to the trees." <laughs> it's a giraffe, and I'm like, "How did I miss what? that big old giraffe?" <laughs> like right through the trees, you had to have the eyes. <laughs> like there's an elephant. I'm like, "What?" And there'd be a whole elephant. I think he was platinum. <laughs> He coordinated with the uh, with the animals, but let me tell you. So after it was over, he's dropping us back off. We spent, you know, basically most of the day with this guy from like four o'clock in the morning until maybe about four or five o'clock in the evening. And he said, you know, um, you know, if you ever need anything, you know, let me know. And we're like, yeah, we'll definitely give you a referral, man. It was a great. Everybody know that this was great. You and should pay for it. Too. And he was like, no, that's not what I meant. He was like, you know, we have spent all day together. You guys are now friends. We're now family. And you're moving to my country. If you ever need anything, and I don't just mean like now, it's like the next two, three years, whatever. If you ever need anything, feel free to call me and I'll do whatever I can to assist you. And I said, man, now that is that South African love. Like, and it, and it, and it uh, spans... Um, races, nationalities, cultures, it really does. you know, yeah, mm -hmm. that he, he didn't have to say that. No. He was already paid. We paid him before the, you know, you right. know, you pay him through the app, mm -hmm. you know, we already told him was going to give him a good review. These things he didn't have to say. He could have just been like, all right, cool. Nice to meet you guys. Have a safe trip. Jump in his car and roll down. Right, right. But he, he, he was intentional about saying that. And man, I appreciate that. I was just like, again, taking the back. You know, you South African people are really some of the best people on planet Earth. You know, they are some of the best people on planet Earth. Yeah. So then what what else have we been doing? Just been looking at houses. House hunting international. Been looking at houses. You mm -hmm. know how they say white people be on house hunters and they be like, you know, what do you do for a living? Well, I count pencils and <laughs> <laughs> and the man would be like, I pick daisies and our budget is two point three million dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Our budget is yes, we would like sixteen bedrooms. Like, <laughs> like how y'all? <laughs> I need that check. Oh God, God, no. Teacher? Yeah, how you a kindergarten teacher affording a, a sixteen bedroom? <laughs> but anyway, so we were um, we've been house hunting. So the first place that we actually first place that we actually looked at a home was in Dan Fern yeah. Estates. Dan Fern Estates. And this is an absolutely beautiful estate. It is. An absolutely beautiful estate. Uh, but the houses that we saw, so let me be clear, the estate is beautiful. Is. And I am quite sure that they have some phenomenal houses in the estate. Mm -hmm. But the houses that we saw were huge, super duper big, but they were just a little dated. Yeah. They were like, you know... I was feeling, you know, like if I had seen this twenty years ago, it was the hot stuff, right? It was, it was that. But it's just not right now. It was like, you know, um, the 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 dude who forty three and he's still in the club, you know, like, yeah. damn, homie, in high school you <laughs> was the man, homie. <laughs> what happened to you? <laughs> you were pulling him in that you? This ain't it though. This ain't it right now. But um, so then we started looking in the Sandhurst, Santon, Morningside, Bryanston yeah. area. And why? Not because we're trying to be bougie. It is because that's the school that the children will be at. The school that the children will be attending is in that area. And we don't want to be driving, you know, 45 minutes to an hour every day. No. to drop them off at school so we want to kind of be close by that area so the first house we saw saw had like this beautiful glass we did it was in a, a cluster yeah and they are working on every house in that cluster like to upgrade it. yeah mm -hmm. 
and it had this beautiful glass um, staircase mm -hmm. or whatever have you. It was just like, oh, this is dope. This is this like, is nice. nice. Yeah. But yeah. all I could think was that my children are going to break this. Yeah. I had that baby pool, too. A little small like pool. Like two people in the pool. And yeah, no that's one. it. That's it, it was so small. That's it. I don't it. think I've ever seen a pool that's like a hot, it wasn't a hot tub. Yeah, right. like a hot tub. Yeah. A cold tub. <laughs> <laughs> All we can do is dip in and turn around. <laughs> you cannot, if you stretch out, it's a wrap. Then you can. <laughs> <laughs> you go hit the other side. <laughs> you kick off and you're going to get a concussion because you can go straight. <laughs> You kick off the side of the pool, we'll get a whole concussion. <laughs> Boom! It's over. It's over. Blood and water. <laughs> no. No. That wasn't it. So that wasn't it. <laughs> that wasn't it. But the good thing about that house is that it was 45,000 Rand per month furnished. Now, why is that important? Because we're not bringing that big old heavy furniture we got at our house right now. We're about to sell that stuff and give it away. Man, there's no, I'm not shipping, you know, the thousands and thousands of dollars it would cost to ship the furniture at our house. As a matter of fact, not to mention it may not fit in the place. It may not it even, may right. right. It may not look right. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, South Africans really be on the feng shui. I want to say feng shui. They, they, they really be on it. Bye. Uh, yeah, they be nice. Ah, yeah. yeah, they really be on their feng shui. So, Somebody um, need a little help. <laughs> so, <laughs> with that being said, we need something furnished. Furnished. So the forty-five thousand furnished was attractive to us. Oh, let's mention this. Some people said, "Oh, mm -hmm. they're overcharging you because you American." Well, that may be the case in some instances. But we found those places on Property 24, and that was the listed price on Property right. 24. Right, so it's not like you show up and it's like, oh, how much is it? They right. Calculate their mind based no. on who you are. That's the no, price no. is there, and we're we not. knew that when we were buying properties here. That's yeah, what meant. yeah, yeah, yeah. We 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 ain't new to this. We right. true to it. <laughs> <laughs> now there is room for negotiation, and that's what we do. Not yeah. a ton. Like they're not gonna ask for forty five and you come talking about twenty five. No, 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 no. That that and that would be not unreasonable. That, that would be unreasonable. But if you can ask forty five, you can ask for thirty five. I mean, yeah, if they ask forty five, they ask thirty five, and you might <laughs> and you might meet right there at forty. Mm -hmm. You might meet at thirty eight, mm -hmm. and everybody's happy. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so the first place was a no go, right? Uh, even though it was furnished, just wasn't. We didn't feel it like that. Right. And the second place was um in morningside manor i believe it's called and, it, I that, think so, yeah. and that too was a cluster and it was a massive home really yeah it was a nice home and it had a yeah, went like too much living space yeah two enormous living rooms and enormous formal dining room right right and it's like i would have to buy so much furniture to fill this space up again because now this is forty five thousand unfurnished yeah right so you're getting a lot more space and like i didn't like the kitchen like the kitchen was really you know i like that um open you know open what do you call them open concept open concept open yeah. floor plans that's what i was trying to it's kind of the rave in the, in the u.s and i think it's the rave here mm -hmm. so um yeah, I didn't like the fact that the kitchen was closed off. It was very closed yeah. off. Yeah. Like, had to enter like a regular little door. Yeah, to get, to to get the, the kitchen. kitchen. So I didn't like that. But I mean, the house itself was pretty nice. But 45000 unfurnished is like, oh, I mean, you know, now I got to go out and try to buy furniture and this, that, and the third. Mm -hmm. But someone in the comments said, you know, they will think because you are an American, they can upcharge you and just start showing you all the nice and stuff. And that's exactly what our old Muslim sister did. She was a Muslim lady, you know. And she's that's, a, that's what she does. Next thing you know, she had like, how much was it? Sixty thousand <laughs> rand. <laughs> she took us to a penthouse. She took us to a penthouse. <laughs> a penthouse that listen, the, it, it was four floors that had a private elevator, right? Right. The fourth floor had um, it was just the whole floor was a, a 
what you call it? The master bedroom. Yeah. The whole floor was a master bedroom with a mat with a master's bath. Yeah. Right. The third floor was like a theater, theater and a pool and a pool and a balcony. The pool that pool was small too. Yeah. A little baby pool. Yeah. And it's, the pool is on the balcony. And the balcony only had like a little glass thing. Yeah, I'm like, this is 14 floors. Like, woo. this is dangerous. It is. This is dangerous, yes. dangerous, dangerous, dangerous. I don't need mm -hmm. that. Then I forgot what was on the third the floor. Kitchen. Was like the, was the like the kitchen. The area. Mm -hmm. And then the bottom floor was like three bedrooms. And I was like, now how in the world I'm gonna have my eight, my nine year old, and my eleven year old sleeping three floors away from me? Right. With the balcony. What about no D? No. Y'all don't understand. Our children nice. next level. Next. Yeah. No. They'll be throwing the football in the house and, and I believe I can fly. <laughs> it, it'll never happen to me. No, no, no. We're not gonna be here. Mm -mm. So after that uh fiasco. <laughs> it was fun. To right. See. It was beautiful to see. Something to talk about. She uh then showed us a place that I think we really both liked. And I don't think I was able to post the footage, but I may uh I may do it like as a short, maybe something maybe like so. that. Maybe you so. know. But this place was number one, it's furnished. Mm -hmm. Two, it has an outside area that is just lit. Like it's the whole house is built for indoor, outdoor living. So when you walk through the front door, it is like um patio huge patio that that's covered that leads out into the swimming pool this is through the front door of the house mm -hmm. and then to the left is the actual inside living space um oh the house was lit it, it's the house beautiful. was lit it yeah was like, yeah wow. wait they have a they have East a bathroom was like a spa that's what i'm saying and the master bathroom, the master bathroom had an outside shower, outside, inside shower. I don't know how to explain yeah. it. It's like a Outdoor, sun. Fully private. Right. right. Know, just green, fresh. It just felt like but, a vacation. But, it, but it, had a, it had a roof, but it was like yeah. a, uh, I don't know, a glass yeah. roof. I don't know. Indoor, yeah. outdoor. But it, you're not outside, outside, but it's light coming in, natural light. It was oh, like a spa. It was, it like was dope. It was dope. I think we really, really like that. And speaking of price, we're negotiate. We're in the process now of negotiating price because I think they wanted fifty thousand rand for it. That's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot. You know, we yeah, we coming from the U.S. and may have a little dollar or two in terms of um, the leverage of the buying power, but I just don't want to ever give anybody fifty thousand rand. <laughs> If I don't have to. If I don't have to. Mm -mm. So we're negotiating the price uh, to come down and then include a whole lot of other stuff, right. like the cleaning, uh, cleaning lady, as well as the, the garden keeping, as well as the cleaning of the pool, Just, um, a whole yeah, bunch of other stuff, of mm -hmm. right? Because I think that's what you're supposed to do. In fact, the, um, the real estate agent's husband said, always negotiate. He said, just because someone asks, asks, gives you a price or gives you a number, is right. always always negotiate. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're doing right now, and hopefully we'll hear from the sister we'll soon, see. and we'll be able to say, ah, this is our place. Um, but we really did like that place. Mm -hmm. So um, if not, we'll be looking at some more places, uh, maybe tomorrow, because we probably need to check out one or two. Yeah, yeah, we probably need to check out one or two. Um, anyway, family, I think that's it. I got a meeting starting in one minute. My computer just let me yeah. know. So. Um, Thank you guys for watching, and we will be back tomorrow with another video. Anything else? No. Thanks, All guys. right. Love you guys. Bye-bye.